Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael Crump here, bringing you the latest and the greatest PlayStation 4, homebrew news, and much, much more. Today, I wanted to make a video showing you how you could copy your save game data from one PlayStation 4 over to another one. So head over to your PS4 and go into the homebrew store. If you don't have the homebrew store, there is obviously a link to it down below. And once you have that loaded up, you're just going to head over to where it says store groups. And we're going to go to utility. And we're going to scroll down a bit and you'll see Apollo save tool. Go ahead and hit the download button here. And it should finish up and then you're going to want to click on install. Okay, and now we're just going to navigate to the application, Apollo Save Tool, and we'll run it. So there is a trophies section that is included in the tool. Keep in mind, this does not unlock trophies. It's something that has been asked for, but it isn't in this current version. If you go to the trophies, you can just see a description of the current trophies for your current games. And then for USB saves, if you copy a save using this tool onto your USB drive, then you'll be able to transfer it to another PlayStation 4 that you might have around the house. The hard disk drive saves basically takes the save out of your hard disk drive and it copies it over to a USB drive. We'll just scroll down here, and again, I'm just going to pick my Guns, Gores, and Cannoli save game data. You can do a couple of different things. The primary thing we're going to be interested in is going to be copy save game. So if you select that option, then you're given these three options where you can copy it to your USB 0, 1, or your hard disk drive. Just for a very quick test, I have a USB drive inserted into slot zero, and I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this save. Okay, there it is. You can also do things such as view the save details, which gives you a little bit more information about the title. There is this notion of an online database. There's only a couple in here right now, but what will be nice about this is, is that if the community continues to build more and more of these, then potentially, if you wanted a save game that exploits, maybe gives you more money in Grand Theft Auto, etc., you could easily come here and do it without even taking a search on the internet for someone that already has a save game file where they've accomplished that. And then there is user tools. So if we go into user tools, you can see we can do things such as activate the PS four accounts, or we can also show the parental security passcode. So if we go in to show parental security passcode, mine's never been set. So mine is just simply at all zeros. And then you can go in and you can activate different PSN accounts. This ability to activate PS4 accounts has been around for a little while. It feels a bit odd being in this save game tool, but you can use this if you would like. And then there's some settings in here. The main setting that I would recommend turning off is the background music. These are so annoying. I don't know why so many developers continually put background music inside of their applications. No one wants it. There's obviously a few other things here. So you can sort saves. Uh, there's different animations you can turn on and off. And obviously you can do things such as automatically check to make sure you're using the latest version of Apollo upon launch of the tool. And then there is the standard about screen. And so now let's just take a quick peek in PS4 Explorer to look at the save game data file that was copied over to our USB stick. So PS4 Explorer, we're gonna to navigate to our USB stick, we're gonna go PS4, Apollo, and there is the save game data. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this USB stick, and I'm just going to show you how I copied my data from one of my PlayStation 4s in my bedroom over to my office PlayStation 4. It worked absolutely wonderful. I can see this tool, this utility, becoming more and more popular. 
as time goes by. So roll the video.
And that's it for this one. Thank you so very much for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and share this video. It means the world to me. It also helps me in the algorithms and lets people find this content. Also, join our Discord, and I'll be going live this upcoming Sunday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right here on YouTube. So if you're already subscribed, well, you'll see when I go live. Come and join the fun. We had a blast last Sunday. See you then. Michael, out!